something here. from the other side of that door. And we should assume our destination lies beyond it. It could be a trap. Don't let your guard down. Whoa, a treasure chest! I've been waiting for you. Welcome, my old comrades. And my lady, Rosfida. Sorry, we're not the allies you once knew. Yes, how foolish of me. From the looks of it, Dr. Noah managed to save Adol and the Crimson King. Yeah. He has learned quite a bit working for me. So I'd expect no less from him. Anyway, I'm glad you're all right now. How can he be so cruel? He doesn't feel bad at all. What have you been doing here for the last 15 years after you disappeared? You owe me an explanation, Zola. Saint Rosvita. Ever since I succeeded in creating you, I thought to myself, why stop there? Chatelard attempted to restore Glia with a homunculus army of only the elite. But he lacked ambition. Why settle for only the experiences of the living? But you, Rosvita, are my crowning achievement. A living testament to the prospects of alchemy. Imagine what we could do. That was my vision. That's impossible! You can <laughs> Repeating what you did with Rosvita. That is correct. You not only harbor an abundance of insight, but you've also encountered a great many exceptional beings. Among them are beings some would consider to be gods. No. Through my research, I was able to extract those memories from Adol. My magnum opus is far greater than what Chatelard could have ever dreamed. With the combined memories of the people Chatelard and I collected in the prison, in the extraordinary wisdom etched into Adol's soul. I fused all of them into one single being. A being like the gods themselves. No, a being that is superior to the gods. A Prilis, with this god in the Grimwald Nox, all of you can be freed from this curse. He's lost it. <laughs> to think that someone could come up with something so egregious. And tonight, with the Grimwald Nox at its peak, my magnum opus will finally be complete. That vessel... 
It's filling up with blue spirits. Wait! Zola! Done it. Its power is astonishing. It's beautiful. Oatra, I beseech thee. Hmm. Perish. Out there. It appears that all of the monsters outside the fortress were annihilated. What? In an instant? There's no doubt about it. Yeah. Yes. I'm pleased that it meets your expectations at all. Now, none of you have any need to fight in the Grimwald Nox ever again. You can live unshackled from the curse that has plagued you all your life. Allow me to congratulate you. I am truly happy for all of you. Papa... Really? But... Can we really trust something this powerful? There's no way it's that simple. Would you prefer fighting tirelessly like you have for the past 500 years? Well, no. That is... Unless you find joy in being a slave to the Grimwald Nox. Regardless, I have no further need for monstrums. I invited you here as a debt to my old friends, but it's best if you leave now. I acknowledge that your work has allowed us to survive for so long. However, I want to find a solution that we can all believe in, and I'm willing to wait. Aprilis! You never change, do you? Many people once trusted you, and many exploited you as well. This weakness was to blame for your demise. Or has it been so long that you've forgotten? <laughs> no matter how many times I offered you my hand, you refused to take it. No, Zola, I... I don't want to hear it. I'm tired, Rosvita. I don't want to see you get hurt anymore. I didn't spend all those years reviving you just so I could lose you again! Atra, restrain her. You can't! Bastard. There is no need. What? Homunculi are no longer necessary as the keepers of the Grimwald Nox. Consequently, I will dispose of them. No! My purpose is but one, the complete and utter eradication of the source of enmity in the Grimwald Nox. The source of enmity? You can't mean... The animus within Balduk is a pestilence that threatens to consume the rest of the world. To ensure its preservation, the pestilence must be cleansed. In other words... You're going to destroy Balduk? It will be the catalyst of its own salvation. <laughs> All the wisdom in the world smashed together and nobody thought this would be the verdict? With the shit I've seen, I almost don't blame him. But this isn't right! Zola! You leave me with no other choice. I will see Satra's functions. <laughs> Zola! Papa! I must eliminate all hindrances to my objective. Zola! You are next. Adol? 
Battle Kristen. You have not been selected to be eliminated. But if you obstruct me, I will destroy you as well. Stand with me and protect Balduke! Yeah! Let's go. Understood. All right! It's come to this, huh? Of being more powerful than the gods? I like the sound of that. There's no way we're gonna let you destroy Balduke. Our fates aren't the gods, and certainly not yours to decide. You have all had your goal. I should be sufficient proof for you to understand that you are necessary. None of our attacks are working. I know we can win. We have to. Everyone, let us emerge victorious. You will perish this farewell. Come on, you guys. How Attacks aren't doing a damn thing! Are you satisfied, Homunculi? Soon, you may finally be at peace. You have done well for the past 500 years. <sighs> Take caution! Yeah. Is this... the end? <clears throat> What's happening now? You... you did this! Yes, I did. I am your creator. It is truly regrettable <laughs> that you were a failure. Sola. I destabilized the force keeping him together, but he's still more powerful than I anticipated. I am. No, it is I. I am. all the souls that compose Atra. This must be the result of the amalgamation breaking down. He's only barely able to keep the souls intact. He may be vulnerable in this state. Monstrums, prepare for the final assault! Okay! okay. can't afford to let this chance go to waste. Let's go! 
Kill this thing just by throwing ourselves at it. It must have a weakness somewhere. If it does, my gift will be able to see it. My time to show it. That was the core of souls that Atra was comprised of. Once it lost the power keeping it fused, it shattered. So is it over? Yes. Atra is no longer a threat. That said, it means that nothing will change. We must continue fighting the Grimwald Nox as we always have. But Balduk is safe now, at least. And it'll stay that way, as long as we keep fighting. I'll do my best to make sure everyone can keep living in peace. The important thing is that we'll do it together. I will do my part as well. I'm never getting rid of you guys, am I? Hmm.
Adal. What do you wish to do? About the monsters, of course. Do you wish to free them? With all of us here, at this moment, we can stop the Grimwald Nox together. But without it, the enmity of the people cannot be contained. Because of this, the future of Balduk is uncertain. It may even come to pass that its people will suffer a far worse fate. But maybe, that's how things should be. What does your heart tell you at all? You, of all people, should know. Choice is not always between right or wrong. The only absolute is that the choice must be made. We'll help you make it come true, Adol. <sighs> they shouldn't be trapped by the past any longer. This is the Egg of Dropnir. It is the relic that manifests Lemiris from enmity. Please raise your sword, Adol. Now, Adol, destroy the egg. By doing so, its light is a beacon of hope. <laughs> You've always been able to find it, haven't you? You've grown so much, Adam. I'm so happy I had a chance to see you again. <laughs> no matter how perilous the path before you, you walk it unbeclosed. That courage lies in all humans. After all, you freed me from my eternal fate. Yes, think of this as our gift to you. All that you have done for us. <laughs> we'll always be watching over you, Adam. Always. You're finally awake. <laughs> What's with you and fainting? What happened? It seems we're just outside of Balduk. Is it true you destroyed the Grimwald Nox? A strange voice told us you did. I no longer feel the presence of the Grimwald Nox, nor any Lemiris. I want to believe that it's finally over. Yeah. There's nothing to apologize for. I don't know what I would have chosen if I were you. I think... I might have chosen to keep the Grimwald Nox. Me too. I don't mind having to fight. However, then there would be no room to change for the better. Not for us, and not for Balduk. Yeah... You might be right. With that, our final battle, like all our other battles, ended like nothing had ever happened. After the Victory Day Festival concluded, Balduk returned to normal. This was thanks to Warden Valger and Governor General Lindheim resuming their posts. 
the Glee and Hieroglyph Knights were reinstated with a new master from the church. Things weren't exactly the same around Balduke, but little by little, it would regain its spirit. One of the changes was that the Monstrums were never seen again. With the Grimwald Nox gone, we had lost our gifts. Aprilis told us that the curse was always tied to the Grimwald Nox. There were rumors of the Monstrum's whereabouts, but they went away eventually. Maybe one day, the Monstrums will be forgotten altogether. But in the meantime... Alright, I think I'm all packed up. Perks of travel in light. I prefer bringing memories instead of stuff. You ready to go too, Adel? Yeah. Great. Perfect timing. You wanted to say goodbye to Carla and Shante, didn't you? We can do that before we leave. My dear, you're not really leaving me, are you? Whatever will I do without you? But I suppose that the original intent of this bar was to help you leave. That's why it's called the Dandelion, right? A seed that floats into the wind, onto a new journey. That's right. I knew this day would come, so this is for the best. <laughs> I suppose I'll have to hold back my tears and see you off with a smile. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my darling Adol! I couldn't forget you in a thousand years. What are you gonna do with the bar? I've thought about it, but I can't bear to leave her. So I think I'll keep her open. I'll save two seats for you at the bar, okay? When you return, she'll be even more gorgeous than you remembered. <laughs> I'd like to express my gratitude as well. I still haven't wrapped my head around you being Cardinal Lindheim. You might be one crafty guy, but you're all right in my book. I've always had a knack for hiding my identity. No. I'm the one who should be apologizing to you. Though my circumstances required it, I was still dishonest about who I was. I heard that when Lindheim was younger, he worked in the mines for two years in secret. In the entire two years, nobody suspected that the son of a noble was working amongst them. I did it to understand the perspective of the people. Being imprisoned with you and escaping was an experience I'll never forget at all. You've got more guts than the best of us. There's all sorts of characters in the Roman Empire, huh? Now, I hate to see you leave, but we wouldn't want to keep you. I'd wager there are other people. Ah, uh, we have to go see without her. Adol, we'll be wishing. Yeah.
Thank you both for Didn't know you'd be here too, Car Carla told me that you'd be stopping by. I, um, not long ago. I thought that I'd have to be a monstrum for the rest of my life. But you freed us from the Grimwald's Nox, at all. No. But our lives wouldn't be ours if it weren't for you. So, you've all returned to your original non-homunculus bodies, right? Yes. Except for Anamona, of course. But thanks to Dr. Noah, I feel perfectly normal. <laughs> well, there is the little problem of all my old memories getting jumbled up, but we've all decided to look to the future. Huh. That's a good outlook. <laughs> I didn't... Uh -huh. Hey, that's weird. I don't... want to say goodbye at all. Can't you stay with me a little longer? Well... You know he can't do that, Krisha. Carla! Besides, Adol's already done enough for us. I'm sure that Adol and Dogi have more people they have to see before- I know. <sighs> I know. On behalf of- Krisha told me- No. I mean- You may have a point. From the bot- Thank you. Just think of it as- Though it's un- Whenever you- <laughs> I'll be waiting. Stay well. <laughs> Adol Kristen. At last, I finally found you. Doesn't she work for the Roman Empire? Yeah. So you've uncovered my top secret assignment, have you? I will admit there may have been some truth to your statements from the interrogation. Though, I was reluctant to acknowledge it. But now that I have, I realize that you're even more dangerous than I thought. Now you will come quietly back to the prison with me. What? Adam, show her what Parks gave you. This is one of those times it would come in handy, right? What's this? An adventuring charter? This is unmistakably Cardinal Lindheim's handwriting. How in the world did a reprobate like you get your hands on this? More importantly, when did Cardinal Lindheim return? And what of Chatelard and the others? Wait, you really have no idea? The Cardinal's been back as the Governor General for a while now. As for Chatelard, he's gone. Preposterous. I haven't seen any report since I escaped the Hieroglyph Knights and hid underground. Guess she wouldn't know. She's been under a rock. <laughs> Literally. Speaking of... F I must confirm its legitimacy with the Cardinal at once. Hey! Listen here, Adol Kristen. If I learn you forged this letter, I'll have you imprisoned once more. You stay right there. She's persistent, but we should probably get going if we go now. Ah, good. It's it. Jules. I'm sorry, Jules. Yep, I got the short end of the stick. Maybe I'll find a way to restore the Grimwald Knox so I can have my gift back. Well. Oh. <laughs> oh, I have a message from Anna Monaf. She said, thank you for everything. No frills, straight to the point. <laughs> Despite how concise the message was, she did appear sad you were leaving. In any case, 
and believed the choice she made was for the best. Sola was generous enough to perform one final procedure for her. Ah, I get you. So, what's the plan for the Noahs? About that. We found a lead on Jules' disease. Maybe... The research documents that Zola left behind. I don't expect him to be in fact. Hey! Well, I'm not out of the woods yet. So... Yeah. Are you going to continue your adventures then? Hey, um... Yeah. Really? Then you can tell me about all the new things you two have seen on your... <laughs> in the meantime, then we can swap stories next time we meet. <laughs> <laughs> Adol, Dogi, thank you for everything you've done for our family. Jules, Pamela, and I wish you the best on your journey. We appreciate that. You've done plenty for us, too. Thank you, both of you. And take care. Right back at you, Jules. All right, then. Time to go, Adol. You look who it is. Oh. We've got ourselves an entourage. Yeah, the least we could do. My co workers also send their regards. Oh, they covered for me at the Coliseum's. <laughs> yep. Boyfriend? When are you two gonna make it official already? Go! Um. Thank you for everything, Adol, and for all you've done for our sister, especially. Your sister is the one who's gotten us out of more scrapes than we can count. Yeah. The... She's fun to tease, too. Look! You fuzz blushing! Uh, hey! I haven't even said goodbye to Adol yet. Uh, well, now it's too quiet. Hurry it up, woman! And I'm glad I can continue living. So thank you. The wounds, but I'll. As long. I'll. F thank you. Hey, uh, you. <laughs> don't. Best. We'll. We'll never. Neither. Kristen! Uh-oh, here comes the warning. Yes. So, I take it you're leaving? Yeah, that's the plan. Good. <clears throat> that might be for the best. What do you mean? After everything that's happened, the Imperial military is on their way from Rom. Relatively new Paranormal Investigation Division is also involved. They don't waste any time, do they? You know Ingrid, don't you? She's actually a highly ranked officer in the Imperial Army. She used her connections to request additional support from the Roman military. No idea how she managed to report on all those events while she was in hiding, though. I heard the two of you were the primary suspects in the investigation. Come on! <laughs> I am a Roman soldier, so if they require it, I will be obliged to aid them. Anyway, I thought I'd give you fair warning. Thank you. You don't need to thank me. Stay sharp. Looks like there's one more person waiting for you. Heading out, Adol? Now that the Grimwald Knox is gone, the people's fate rests in their own hands. There's a possibility of a far more disastrous war or calamity in the future. That being said, 
You all risked your lives to pave this new path for Balduk. Now it's our responsibility to ensure it leads to the future this city deserves. No. It's not your duty to fulfill. This is our obligation as the people who live upon this land. You are kind, Adol Kristen. Do you remember when I told you I wished the Monstrums didn't have to fight anymore? It was right before our final battle. Yeah. Hmm. Teasing me now, are you? I had a feeling, Adol, from the moment I met you in the prison, that you would be the one to spark the change that I could only dream of. But I always was... Thank you. This is the first... Then... I'm sure you know, but hey. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. It's definite at all. Though it pain. Goodbye. So, if you want to stay on the road, we can head towards Garmin. Or, if you're pining for the sea breeze, we could take a trip overseas to Bretai. You really took that dandelion thing to heart, huh? By the way, I've been meaning to ask. I've been on the road for a while now. You ever think about settling down anywhere? You're killing me, Adol. Well, no sense stopping now. We made a lot of great memories here, with a lot of great people. Wherever the next destination may be, I hope we meet more folks like that again. Hey, Adol. Look, 